Joaquin Arcavaldo Guzman Lara was born into a poor family in the rural community of La Tuna, Bay Diariguado, Sinaloa, Mexico. Sources disagree on the date of his birth, with some stating he was born on December 25, 1954, while others report he was born on April 4, 1957. His parents were Emilio Guzman Bustilos and Maria Consuelo Laura Perez. His paternal grandparents were Juan Guzman and Otilia Bustilos, and his maternal grandparents were Ovidio Laura Gobert and Pompeza Perez Uriarte. For many generations, his family lived and died at La Tuna. His father was officially a cattle rancher, as were most in the area where Guzman grew up, according to some sources, however, he may have possibly also been a gomero, a Sinaloan word for opium poppy farmer. Guzman has two younger sisters, Armida and Bernarda, and four younger brothers, Miguel Angel, Aureliana, Arturo and Emilio. He had three unnamed older brothers who reportedly died of natural causes when he was very young. Few details are known of Guzman's upbringing. As a child, Guzman sold oranges, and dropped out of school in third grade to work with his father. Guzman was regularly beaten and sometimes fled to his maternal grandmother's house to escape such treatment. However, when he was home, Guzman stood up to his father to protect his younger siblings from being beaten. It is possible that Guzman incurred his father's wrath for trying to stop him from beating them. His mother, however, was the foundation of his emotional support. As the nearest school to his home was about 60 miles, 100 kilometers, away, Guzman was taught by traveling teachers during his early years, just like the rest of his brothers. The teachers stayed for a few months before moving to other areas. With few opportunities for employment in his hometown, he turned to the cultivation of opium poppy, a common practice among local residents. During harvest season, Guzman and his brothers hiked the hills of Bay Diariguado to cut the bud of the poppy. Once the plant was stacked in kilos, his father sold the harvest to other suppliers in Culiacan and Guamuchil. He sold marijuana at commercial centers near the area while accompanied by Guzman. His father spent most of the profits on liquor and women and often returned home with no money. Tired of his mismanagement, Guzman, at the age of 15, cultivated his own marijuana plantation with four distant cousins, Arturo, Alfredo, Carlos, and Hector, who lived nearby. With his first marijuana productions, Guzman supported his family financially. When he was a teenager, however, his father kicked him out of his house, and he went to live with his grandfather. It was during his adolescence that Guzman earned the nickname El Chapo, Mexican slang for shorty, for his 1.68 meters. 5 feet 6 in, stature and stocky physical appearance. Though most people in Bay Diariguato worked in the poppy fields of the Sierra Madre Occidental throughout most of their lives, Guzman left his hometown in search of greater opportunities, through his uncle Pedro Avilas Perez, one of the pioneers of Mexican drug trafficking, he left Bay Diariguato in his twenties and joined organized crime. Subscribe for part 2 coming soon.